Alright, lesson one. Focus mitts. When I hold focus mitts for my partner, it's really important that I'm simulating as best I can a good opponent. So the first thing I'm going to do is mirror his fighting stance. I'm going to stand in a fighting stance and make sure that my foot works good as well. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror a fighting stance with my arms as well. My elbows are going to go in, I'm going to hold the pads no further than a head distance apart. For straight punches, it's fairly easy. When Joey throws a jab, he's going to hit the pad nice and strong here. Every time my partner hits the pad, all I'm going to do is provide a little bit of resistance at the point of impact. This is to protect him from overreaching and it's to protect me. So if my shoulder's on the outside, I'm going to do damage to my rotator cuff. So I keep my hands on the inside, he throws a jab, bomb. Perfect. Really easy to do then. I get good training value out of it as well because I'm practicing holding a good fighting stance at the same time. For a cross, it's the same thing. His cross hand's gonna go to my cross hand. Just like that, again, my elbow stays on the inside. Again, my pads are never further than a head distance apart. Okay, that way it simulates his best realistic targets. Okay. Hook punches, nice and simple. He throws a hook punch. I'm gonna make a hook shape like the side of a head. Again, I pull the other one out of the road and I hit it with just the same amount of force that he's hitting me with. On the other side, hook punch again, make the correct shape. So if he was gonna throw a jab cross hook, it would look like this. One, two, turn. Okay, uppercut the same in front of my chest to simulate that head or that chin in that position. Boom, right here, same on the other side. And I just drop the other one out of the road. So again, if he was gonna throw a jab cross uppercut, it'd look like this. Okay, there's not too much going on there. So that's your basic angle of punches. If you've got a belly pad, then body punches are easy. But, because I'm not wearing one today, I'm gonna to show you how I would hold them for a body rip. So if he's gonna throw a body rip, what I do is I like to pull my elbow out of the road because I don't want him to hit my elbow, I support the pad, and now he rips in towards my body. Okay, I do the same thing on the other side for a rip, elbow out of the road. My elbow supports my wrist, so I don't damage my wrist if I hold just my wrist here. Okay, sometimes if he hits in the wrong spot, I need that support on my wrist. So a jab cross rip would look like this. Okay. So there's a really simple lesson uh, for holding the folk smiths. Points that are really important to remember are Fighting stance with your own feet so you can work footwork with your partner. Elbows into your body and the pads no further than a head distance apart. Okay, whenever you're holding for any kind of angular punches, just pull the other one out of the road. Okay, that way if you hold it to your chest, it's out of the road and it's not going to get uh, in the way of any of their punches. Okay, get to class, make sure you practice being a good partner.